Today I'd like to talk about what is diabetes. Diabetes is a health condition where body is unable to process carbohydrate or sugar because of insulin resistance and if body cannot process carbohydrate and sugar and it raises insulin higher than normal. That is called diabetes and that is also called hyperglycemia. If hemoglobin A1c, which is average of three month blood sugar, is more than 5.7% or 5.7 millimole per liter, that is called pre-diabetes. And if it is more than 6.4, that we call diabetes. According to American Diabetes Association, over 100 million American people are in diabetes. Imagine over 100 million, which is 50% of our American adult, either diabetes or they have a pre-diabetes. And that is a disaster for our economy and healthcare. And that was not actually history for our earlier generation. Diabetes was only 0.0023% even early 19th century. Within, a, within decades, it become 50% adult are diabetic. So, now the question is why diabetes is so epidemic nowadays? First of all, if you understand our food habit. Our food habit increased so much within the last 50 years as we have so much carbohydrate in our food menu sugar most of the processed food are, processed food are sugary coated this carbohydrate intake so much and sugary coated food um, raising insulin in our body and if someone taking carbohydrate for a long time and sugary food for a long time and then it that person get insulin resistance and that is called diabetes so the first reason is excessive carbohydrate intake for a long period of time. And second reason is lack of mineral. Average American are suffering lack of mineral deficiency. For instance, most of the American are suffering lack of potassium, manganese, zinc, calcium, iron, and a couple of fatty acid. And if, if human body have lack of mineral, body cannot go its regular function. It, in its regular physiological function got interrupted. And if that happened, body cannot process sugar and carb, what are we taking? If, if you intake carbohydrate and body cannot process it, then blood sugar level raise higher than normal. That is the second reason of diabetes. The third reason is toxicity. Imagine the generation we are in, our food are messed up. For instance, our conventional dairy and meat, it has lot of excessive growth hormone it has a antibiotic it has a steroid in there and those steroid growth hormone and antibiotic come to human body make whole body toxicated and look at the other food for instance we are taking over 63 percent processed food this process would have a preservatives like a like a MSG monosodium glutamate this glutamate is proven carcinogens like a polycarbonate in the plastic bottle that we use everywhere that polycarbonate also proven carcinogens based on the numerous scientific paper we use aspartame which is um, artificial sugar this aspartame also also make toxicate in our body so this lot of toxication in the human body it interrupt every single organ of our body and mostly our our, our digestive tract and intestinal tract. This digestive tract and intestinal tract make toxicated and body cannot process carb and sugar and it cannot go our regular physiological function. And because of that, blood sugar level get high and, and if go for a long period of time, someone get diabetes. Now the question is, is diabetes is curable? A lot of people think that it is not a curable 
because American Diabetes Association said that. According to American Diabetes Association, they declared that diabetes is a progressive disorder, which means once you get it, you get it for forever. It's like a one-way traffic. You get it, you continue taking medication, diabetes is getting worse and worse, you increase your medication level, and day by day, you're losing your organ, organ failure, nerval damage, you get blindness, and then a lot of damage like amputation stop, starts. But research doesn't say that. According to American Finest Medical Institute research, for instance, New England Medical Institutes, they studied on a group of patients who are in diabetic and they did weight loss surgery, which is called bariatric surgery. In bariatric surgery, they found out that they got out of diabetes after being, after being surgery is done, which shows that diabetes is reversible. Even in UK, Dr. Norman Taylor, Dr. Taylor, he is a professor of medicine in University of Newcastle. He studied in a large number of uh, diabetes patients. He found out that when the diabetes patients are put in the low carb, high fat, high mineral diet, they got up the diabetes. Within five to seven days, their diabetes sugar level became 9.6 to 5.9. And within, within five to seven weeks, their diabetes get, get reversed. But American diabetes Association said that diabetes is a progressive disorder. No, the research say diabetes is irreversible. I'm glad to share my research. In my clinic, I started um, prescribing my patient with a low carb and high fat and high mineral diet. And I found out that within a five to seven days, their blood sugar level got normal, about 5.6% or 5.6 millimole uh, per liter. And within a 30 to 40 days, diabetes got reversed. Diabetes reverse, I mean that even they put some carb, they take some carbohydrate, they take some sugar, it's still diabetes, it's still sugar is not spiking anymore. It's still sugar is not raising anymore. So now, now question is, how can you reverse the diabetes? First of all, as you understand, this human body is diabetes because of the sugar. We talked about that. So sugar is the main problem. So that means we can get out of the sugar that the number one cause. So when we're talking about the sugar, I don't mean only sugar, I mean carbohydrate too. Because human body, you intake carbohydrate, it doesn't know carbohydrate, but it's a sugar, as a glucose, single molecule which is called glucose. These glucose molecules work as a sugar in the body, and if it stop that sugar and carbohydrate, then you can get out of diabetes. So now the question is, how can you get out of the diabetes? Since sugar is a problem, sugar is the one making diabetes, right? So just stop the sugar. When I say, I'm saying stop the sugar, I don't say only sugar. I'm saying carbohydrate too. Because any sort of carbohydrate you intake, body doesn't know it, nothing but a sugar, which is glucose, simple structure, sugar molecule, glucose molecule. So you should stop taking carbohydrate and sugar, all form of carbohydrate, like rice, bread, pasta, cereal, cookies, pastry, cake, everything needs to be stopped. And all kinds of sugar. You also need to stop healthy sugar too, like brown sugar, fruit sugar, honey. They are good sugar, but not when you are in diabetes. When you are diabetic, you have to stop that all kinds of sugar and carbohydrate. And if you do that for a long period of time, body will forget insulin resistance problem. And then body will reverse processing sugar as a regular people. Now the question is, some uh, patient asked me, how can you stop carbohydrate? We need to eat rice, bread, no? Um, actually, no, you don't need that. Human body doesn't, doesn't have any function for carbohydrate and sugar. But body needs to survive this human body, you need energy. How can you get the energy? That's what you need to look for. If you look at the fat and protein, that gives you nine calorie per gram. But if you, like, if you take carbohydrate or sugar, that gives you only four calorie per gram. And 
fat source will not raise your insulin, will not raise your blood sugar. Which one you like to choose? Of course, fat. This will give you more energy, that will not increase your insulin or sugar. So, instead of uh, carbohydrate and sugar, look for the fat sources for your calorie. And of course, you have to have a lot of healthy plant-based green leafy vegetables as well to cover up the mineral. So second uh, point is toxicity and mineral deficiency. How can you make up toxicity that build up with stopping your physiological function and deficient of mineral which because of deficient of mineral body is not functioning properly. So simple is that put the mineral, cut off the toxicity. How can you do that? So imagine this human body as you see, it is a full of 10 trillion cells. So this multi-trillion cell working as a community to function in your body. So if you, and, and, and this cell is constantly regenerating. If you put right ingredient, the unhealthy cell, the toxic cell, and faulty cell will be regenerated with a healthy ingredient because cell made of food. If you put right ingredient, like a plant-based uh, uh, green leafy colorful vegetable and healthy fat and healthy protein and by the support of carb and, and small amount of fruits, then healthy cell will form, body will forget its disease and body will fill up its deficiency of mineral and will get rid of all toxicity. You can get out, out of diabetes. Now, you might looking for more specifically how can you how can you stop stop the food making you intoxicated or depleting your mineral level first of all you need to stop all kind of processed food processed food means like pasta cereal pastry cake uh, cookie biscuit and cookies and cake and all kinds of food which is processed this processed food comes in the body body doesn't know how to digest it because the regular structure of the natural food is changed when they process the food so you take the processed food body get toxicated body spikes insulin to transfer this extra calorie into the cell from the bloodstream so you have to store the processed food you have to store the carb and sugar when i say carbohydrate or carb which means pastry cereal biscuit cookie low and bread, all kinds of tortillas, and then rice, and honey, and then sugar, processed sugar, uh, all kinds of um, stuff. And then you have to stop industrial oil. Industrial oil is very much toxicated. It is dyed, it is uh, bleached, and it is hydrogenated. It is not an oil. It's a very deadly, poisonous element. It's not a food. You have to stop that. In Rather, you should take olive oil, you should take coconut oil, but one thing you need to remember, olive oil needs to be intake as a raw. What do you do? You cook your food and put olive oil and then stop your burner. So in that case, you're not burning olive oil. But coconut oil, you can burn whole day. You can fry the coconut oil if you like to fry something because it doesn't change because you see the saturated structure of, um, of, uh, of fat. And second, third thing you need to stop, conventional dairy and meat. It has a lot of growth hormone, it has a steroid, it has a antibiotic which human body cannot tolerate. So it get it get poisonous if you're poisoning your body when you take conventional meat and dairy. And you also at the at the last you need to stop all kind of food that making you allergic. Someone cannot tolerate coconut, someone cannot tolerate like a like a gluten which is bread. Someone cannot tolerate um, for instance uh, banana. Someone cannot tolerate okra. So any food is you are intolerant. It makes you weak, tired. Your eye, you, you, eye, you feel sneezy. You sneezing. You, your eye get watery. You feeling dizzy. You feeling fatty. That means that food is um, you are allergic to. You have to stop that food for a certain period of time. Unless you're getting healthy. After you're getting healthy, you can start taking again. And now you might think what exactly you should be eating. I said earlier in different time, human body need lots of mineral, which means micronutrient. Micronutrient you can find in different types of 
plant-based colorful green leafy vegetables and fruits and you should be taking in addition to green leafy colorful vegetables you should take healthy protein and healthy fat so healthy fat i mean that um, avocado cheese butter milk yogurt um, flax seed chia seed olive oil coconut oil these are the fatty sources you also look for the um, protein based sources like lentil legumes nuts kalachana salt water fish and legumes and and different types of uh, fish you uh, also take some herbal tea to make your systems going better to boost your digestion system to make you makes you calm down and increase your immune system you can do that so you might need to know what exactly you should be eating in the morning lunch and in the evening so very first in the morning you should understand that your body is not working properly when you are in diabetic so you need to drink hot water to clean the digestive tract and intestinal tract so hot water is acidic that enhance the the cleanliness of your intestine and and, and your and your stomach so when you do that it um that hot water acidic system get all the undigested food in the intestine out of your body and then you can walk and exercise about 40 minutes to one hour i'm going to research you need about minimum 40 minutes to walk and then come back in the morning try to skip your breakfast like as a regular breakfast you can drink like a herbal tea black tea you can um, at best you can take some organic chicken bone broth that will mineralize your body don't take like a regular egg and bread and pasta no so just to recap breakfast have to be with a herbal tea black tea or a spice juice spices uh, tea or at best you can take some organic chicken bone broth and then try to take lunch a little bit later like two o'clock or three o'clock and in the lunch time you can take um, lots of vegetable you can take some raw some steam however you like not like cooked you know overly cooked overly cooked food doesn't have any nutrient they kill all the nutrient uh, when you heat for a long time so uh, lots of vegetable cooked or uncooked um, steamed or raw and you can pick some healthy fat like a and protein like a meat like a, a fish like a coconut you can choose some milk you can choose some butter cheese lentil bean legumes like that but do not go with the carbohydrate which is rice bread and stuff and at the lunch at the dinner time you can eat only vegetable only colorful vegetable for instance um, you can go uh, a steam you can cook uh, half cooked or you can take by go by raw but um, some avocado and some little bit amount of you know uh, butter and cheese is not going to be a problem you can add some bait too but try to get in dinner mostly cooked or uncooked vegetable okay these are all tips to prevent and to cure diabetes if you have any question please write down in the comment section i'll definitely will try to answer your question and i have all information given in the description section you can follow and you can share with others and like the video and sub subscribe our channel so you can get more video in all are free thank you very much